I'm so sad. I'm I'm happy that all the family is here. He's getting the hula dancers because he lived such a good life. Hi, I'm Cindy from Pleasant Sims. Welcome back to Pleasant View. Today we have some sad news from the Dreamer household. Unfortunately, one of our original Sims from Pleasant View is gonna cross the Rainbow Bridge. He's gonna meet the Grim Reaper today and leave behind his grieving family. It is a sad time in Pleasant View, but I hope we can find some humor too. So let's get started. It's six o'clock on Sunday morning and the Dreamer family is starting to wake up. Darren knows, he feels in his heart that this is gonna be his last day on earth and he's gonna spend it with his family and also working on his final painting. Lucky for us, the girls don't have to go to school today so they can spend the last day with their dad and Brandy can spend the last day apparently making out with Darren. <laughs> Gotta get those kisses in. Now Brandy's supposed to go to work today. She is a cadet level two in the, in the law enforcement career because that's what she wanted to do with her elder years. But we're gonna have her take a vacation day or call in sick actually. Fake it Brandy, you can do it. Fake that sickness. I like how she get co covers the phone and giggles. You don't sound healthy. Do you need to take a day off? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. She can keep her vacation time, of which she has none. Darren gets one final shot at painting a masterpiece. Let's see if he can do it. He maxed the creativity skill out long ago, and he is a very successful painter. He's also a retired comic book penciler, and he currently works as a multi-regional sim of some question. Darren is like, a jack of all trades. He's done so much with his life. The business career, he's been a painter, he's worked in the, whatever the heck this is, adventurer career and the artist career. Meanwhile, I'm gonna check in on little Chloe, the Dreamer's adopted daughter. She seems to be settling into her life here pretty well. Um, she's gonna go stomp some roaches. Sweep those roaches up. You kill him, you gotta clean him up. Darren has the want to be struck by lightning. I guess he feels that would be a better way to go out than just die of old age. I don't think you're gonna get your wish, Darren. It's not raining outside and you just have a few hours left. In anticipation of Darren's demise, Brandy is throwing a party to invite all of his family over. She wants the whole family to be around him when he passes. So we're gonna invite all of his children um, also, we're going to invite Lilith over and uh, the Broke Boys. We're going to try to keep it small and intimate. And I'm also going to teleport his grandchild, Helen, over. Uh, because for some reason, I guess Brandy doesn't know her. Darren barely knows her. What a way to traumatize a child. I know you barely know your grandpa and he's old as Methuselah, but come on over and watch him die. Anyway, I think it'll be nice for the family to be here for Darren, even though it might be traumatizing for the child. Brandy is cooking Darren's favorite dinner of fried chicken and corn and something else. I don't remember what comes with the chicken dinner, but that's what she's making. Although I don't feel like people are gonna wanna really eat. Looks like all the brokes are here. I see Bo, Dustin, and Bobby. David Dreamer has just gone to college, so I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it. Lilith is here, but not Dirk. Okay, that's weird. So Darren and Dirk actually have a very close relationship. So I'm thinking maybe Dirk is at work and that's why he couldn't come. So we're just gonna teleport him right over. Um, and we're gonna say Lilith is calling him at work saying you know what it's pretty bad you're you need to get over here and see your dad so he's gonna come in a little late but he is coming and the same thing with David David couldn't get here right away because he was in college but his siblings and half siblings called him up and said you got to get down here so both David and Dirk were able to make it Darren is still painting away in here he hasn't even come to greet any of his children or stepchildren but we're gonna let him finish his masterpiece because that's what he wants to do before the end and it's complete, so let's sell it and see if it was a masterpiece. Nope, but you tried your best. Oh yes, it was, it was, it was a masterpiece. Yay, I'm so happy he was able to complete that goal before, okay, now he's gonna go paint again. All right, you gotta stop, Darren. You gotta come down and you gotta say your goodbyes now. Brandy made you fried chicken and she's waiting on you for a kiss. Darren is coming down to give Brandy the kiss that she wanted, and I'm gonna have him go around and say goodbye to all of his kids. Next up is David. Darren is so proud of you, David, for going to college and all that mess. Next up, Darren is going to talk to Dirk. He's going to give him a hug and tell him how proud he is of everything he's accomplished in his life. And now Darren has the flu. And they're just gonna bow to each other a little bit. Nothing weird about that. While the cat 
takes a pee behind them. <laughs> and now Darren is saying goodbye to his girls, starting with Chloe, his adopted daughter. He has grown to love her very much. And finally, he's going to say goodbye to Daisy, his baby girl, his first and only natural daughter. And now we're just gonna let him wander around the house in his pajamas and do whatever he likes for the rest of his life. Aw, and he's gonna spend it with Daisy. Now Brandy has the flu. This whole house is gonna get the flu. Darren decided that he wanted to spend his last few hours on earth outside in his backyard looking at the beautiful sights and dustin came out here to accompany him and talk to him didn't want to leave him alone dustin's so nice and thoughtful we have two days before daisy and chloe are aging up to teenagers and grim is coming for darren i'm so sad i'm i'm happy that all the family is here he's getting the hula dancers because he lived such a good life he was in gold aspiration whenever he finally passed away And there he goes. Oh, oh my God, it's so sad. The whole family is of course very upset, but he wasn't alone. So I'm gonna move his tombstone out to the backyard and we'll have Brandy take it over to the cemetery. And this was kind of like awake for him. Awake while he was still alive. That's not creepy, right? <laughs> the party was a good time. The guests had a fantastic time watching Grandpa croak. <laughs> Aw, well, Darren was one of our original Sims uh, in Pleasant View. And it's I'm sad to see him go. I must say, I'm quite sad to see him go. Brandy's about to pee her pants. And he's leaving behind his grieving widow, Brandy Dreamer. Uh, and his daughters, Chloe and Daisy, and also his cat, Simmy. Aw, poor thing. Daisy's really torn up because she was quite a daddy's girl. And she's really torn up about Darren's passing. And she's so young to, to lose her father. What breaks my heart more than Darren's passing is seeing Brandy go to sleep by herself in their, in their bed. You know, it's just so sad. But at least she has Darren's beloved cat, Simmy, to keep her company. And she still has the girls, too, to support her through this very difficult time. I hear the girls crying. Oh, my gosh. Daisy just woke up in the middle of the night to cry. Oh, my heart. My heart. Chloe, too. Chloe's also awake. I'm sure she woke up from crying. We're going to send her back to bed. I hope the girls can get some rest after this. Well, it's Monday morning. The girls are awake. They're having some hamburgers for breakfast <laughs> okay that looks good um they're actually going to get ready and go to school today they decided they wanted to go try to get their mind off things look daisy's talking about seeing ghosts she's like i wonder if dad will come back as a ghost <laughs> he may but we're gonna take him to the cemetery so they're gonna go to school today and once they go to school brandy is actually off work today she's gonna take darren's tombstone over to the cemetery and bury him properly she's decided that this is something she wants to do alone she needs to do this to grieve and to heal. She just wants to do this her own way. And the rest of the family are going to respect her wishes. Well, on second thought, Chloe decided not to go to school today. I guess she just couldn't handle it after all. She missed the bus and decided to stay home and take a bubble bath. So Brandy is going to take Chloe to the cemetery with her since she obviously needs some extra time to grieve as well. And it started to rain just as Brandy starts to walk towards the cemetery. Somehow that's kind of fitting. Brandy and Chloe are arriving at the cemetery here. Wow, there's a lot of people here. The goth and brokes, Daniel Pleasant, and we're missing our road piece, so just don't pay attention to that. Now, what I want to do in the future is I plan to completely remake the cemetery, adding a, making a church and cemetery combination for Pleasant View. But right now, this is going to have to work. So Brandy's going to put Darren's tombstone down, and she's just going to place it down right here, and she's going to mourn the loss of her husband, her partner, for so many years they were together and i just know this is a heartbreaking experience for poor brandy she's lost two husbands she's outlived two husbands but she is strong she is tough and she is going to make it through this just like she always has that's all that can be done here so brandy's on her way back home with chloe 
and they're just going to spend some family time together getting over this loss. And just look at this lovely view from the top of the hill. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short, but I just had some loose ends I needed to tie up here at the Dreamer house before we moved on to our next family, which we're gonna be playing for an entire week. <laughs> so expect a much longer episode next. We'll be moving on to the oldie goth family, which is Mary Sue and Cassandra. Um, who were recently married, and then Rosa Lothario and Ivan Pleasant are living with them. Ivan is going to be inheriting the Pleasant house, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. I don't know if he's going to get married to Gia and they're going to stay there. I don't know. We're going to have to see what they want to do with their lives when we get over there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch because I am streaming The Sims 2 on Twitch three days a week. And if you're interested in joining me for members-only live streams and getting bonus videos from The Sims 2, consider becoming a channel member. You can hit the little join button down below for more information. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you with a new episode very soon. Okay, so we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Boing, oing, 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 oing.